Mary Strong. She's a bus driver. She goes to school in the afternoons, and she works her in the evenings. I don't know how she does it, really. Hello, fellas. I'm here to help. Yes. Not sure for how long, though. Melanie's only concerned about first day freight. Oh. Ah, step aside, boys. Give me a crack at it. <sighs> so, uh, what happened to Stitch? Uh, he ripped his hand open on a piece of metal. Larry took him to the emergency. At least I don't have to smell him. <laughs> hey, weren't you the agent behind the desk when I came in for a job interview a month ago? I don't know. Could have been. I didn't like being a CSA. I like it better behind the scenes. It took him a whole month to hire you? <laughs> well, at least I know I'm not a terrorist on drugs. It took them a month to figure that out. <laughs> in two and she's afraid of crickets. <laughs> it's okay, Sheila. I'll take care of the crickets. <laughs> Sheila, you are such a girl. Hey, don't you forget it. <laughs> Keep it going, everyone. Keep it going. Is this the next one? Does it even need an introduction? It doesn't. So without further ado, make some noise for Mama's Boy by Blake Freeze. <laughs> Mama's Boy is a one-man show with two men because there's live music. <laughs> now it's a show that I've been working on for 20 years because that's how long ago I lost my mother to suicide. I've always wanted to tell this story, but never knew how, because let's be honest, nobody wants to sit in a room like this and listen to a guy talk about suicide for an hour. But what I figured out is, over time, this story isn't about dying, it's about living. Right, it's a story about, that's what Mama's Boy is, it's a one-man show about growing and learning from grief. And it's a one-man show, ultimately, about finding peace with questions that can't be answered. So here's a quick piece of it. After mom died, nobody wanted to talk about her or how she died. 